Has this been a crazy time or what? There's no better time to show your fearless faith than right now. Dan, Brian, and I have over the last few years shared with you the importance of having faith. And we've mentioned that fear not is in the Bible 365 times, one for every day. I wanna remind you of a verse that I trust will help get you and give you instructions for the days ahead. Welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. One of our favorite verses here at Fearless Faith is 2 Timothy 1.7. Listen to what it says. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God did not give you the spirit of fear. If you are fearful and anxious right now, that's not God. If you are, you need to ask God to forgive you and allow the faith and the power of his spirit to enter into your life. He didn't give you the spirit of fear. He gave you power, the power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that Peter had thrust upon his life that allowed him to go from denying Christ to a teenager to sharing the gospel to thousands of people. That's the same power that you have in your life right now if you've accepted Jesus as your savior. So rely on that power. He gave you power and he gave you love. Listen to what it says in 1 John 4.18. There is no fear in love, for perfect love casts out fear. We as a church can rise up today and share the love of Christ with others. That perfect love that he had for us. There is no fear in love. There's people that are paralyzed with fear right now who don't know the Lord. Maybe this is your perfect opportunity to speak life into them, to speak Christ into them, love into them. Maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a family member. Be open, be observant, and when the Lord gives you the opportunity, share the love of Christ with them. He's given you that love. And finally, a sound mind. If you are hoarding $100 worth of toilet paper right now, you are not of sound mind. <laughs> My wife and I have tried to figure out the toilet paper hoarding and we can't do it. So. You know, people get so, they, they don't listen to the right voices and they get consumed with what the world is saying and just follow it blindly. We do not have to do that. We have a savior who can give us a sound mind. So can I just leave you with that this morning? You don't have the spirit of fear if you have God in your life. You have power, you have love, and you have a sound mind. So go out there today in full faith, being a light in the darkness. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.